Welcome back aliens. So in the earlier video, we have talked about some methods in arrays, right? In this video, let's try to print all the values, but not all the values at once. Maybe I want to print one by one. And then we know, right? If you want to print all the values, if we have done that in objects as well, if you want to print all the properties of an object, we have used a special loop, which is a for in loop. But in for arrays, we have a different type of loop. Of course, it's a for loop, but it is called for off loop. Okay, so before that, first we need a array which will have a lot of values so let me create an array of nums and then let me create a very big array so now we have an empty array i know but i want to create a big array here how do we do that of course you can push values or you can assign the values here but what will happen if i want to have an array of 100 values the first value let's say i want it to be 5 the last value i want it to be let's say 9 and all the values in between i want something else so let's try well, let's see what happens i want to assign the first value so index number 0 which is the first element and let's assign 5 and the last index which will be 99 right because that's how it works and then let's assign let's say 9 so we got a uh, array with only two values but then we have assigned the value to the first element and the 100 element here let's see what happens if you print this so what is your guess i want to know what is your guess in the comment section i hope you have guessed it let's run this okay so you can see it says we got 5 and then we got 9 at the end in between we have 98 items which are empty okay it's not like it, you're getting zeros but you got empty items you might be thinking why not zeros it's because because nowhere we have mentioned that we want to get integer values it can be of any type right it can be string or it can be an object so that's why it says it's empty elements but that's fine with me i know we have total length of 100 uh, let's verify that once so that before running let's do that and you can see the length here is 100 so at least one thing is sure we got an array of 100 elements now i want to print all the elements one by one so how do we do that so for that we have a special loop and that is called for off loop now how that works so basically what we want is we want a for loop to look at each element and fetch the value and give it to us and then we can do whatever we want we can print the value or we can perform some operation Maybe you want to store the data in a database or maybe you want to send that data to the client. I mean, whatever you want to. The important thing is I want to fetch that data. Now, when you fetch that data, where you will store it? So let's say I will store that in N. Now, N is a variable which will hold one value at a time. So I will say let N of nums. So we have to use of here. Okay, so what will happen now is from nums, which has 100 values, one value will be assigned to n at a time and with that value you can do whatever you want in this case i just want to print it so you can store that data in a database you can store that data in a file or you can send it to a client that's your choice here let me run this code and you can see it is printing nine and all the undefined in between because that is not assigned and you can see we got five so five at the start and then we got all the values so this is how you can use a for off loop but if you remember we have also seen for in loop for, for the objects now for in what it does is it will fetch the key of the property and with that key you can fetch the value in this case if you want to use for in so what i will do is i will just create another loop here so let's say for and then this for will be a for in loop can we use for in here the answer is yes actually you know why because this is an object and it actually has a key also which is invisible which is actually the index value right so this 5 is index 0 this 9 is at index 9 9 so you can imagine that's that as a key right so if you can fetch the key so i can say let key in num so what this key will have is 0 1 2 3 4 let me prove that so what i will do is i will just print or let me just print key here so let's not print this thing let me come in that part and let me only print key now so you can see it is printing 0 and 99 so what is this key here so this is the first element this is the last element all the keys in between are undefined so it is not printing it but you got the key right so you can use in as well but with this key, if you want to fetch the value, it's very simple. You can say nums of that key and now you will get it. And you can see we got five and nine. Cool. So you can use for off or you can use for in. Specifically for arrays, for off makes much more sense because you don't have to work with a key and then fetch the value. You can simply fetch the value and that's how it works. So I hope you got the idea how do we use this for loops and how can you fetch all the values. So yeah, that's it from this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me in the comment section and do subscribe for the videos. Bye-bye.